No one can defeat him. How strong is Boruto in the time skip? I've been saying it the whole time. Boruto is top one. Before we get into the video, Boruto is the new gen Minato. You remember how Minato had a run on site order? Like other other villages, when they saw him, they ran. That's Boruto in today's time. Uh, Boruto is so powerful in the time skip uh -huh. that Sasuke stated he is now the strongest shinobi of all time and would never be defeated if he continued training. Uh -huh. However, with such a huge testament to his strength, could Boruto defeat the old gods of shinobi all at the same time? Now, I know this is a big claim. Who wants to admit that a freaking 16-year-old child can wipe the floor with everyone? But, hey, <laughs> I'm going to prove it. Firstly, Boruto isn't even human anymore. Bye, old heads. Really There's a not, new bro. guy in town. Boruto is 100% of Suski. They yep. are on a completely yep. different level from any race we've ever seen in the Naruto universe. Well, maybe except for Trashiki. He got packed up pretty quick. First of all, let's clear up the facts. From birth, Boruto was always going to become the strongest shinobi. This kid's blood is genetically insane. Naruto and Hinata's lineage link back to both branches of the Utsuki clan, which is why Momoshiki claimed he inherited a strong amount of their genes. Okay. To make things crazier, Urashiki confirmed Tonori did something to Boruto to activate his new dojutsu that derives from the Utsuki god. So compared to other shinobi, Boruto has better opportunities with access to teachers such as Kakashi, Jiraiya, Naruto, Sasuke, right, and most recently Koshin Koji. Like, the amount of knowledge yeah, passed down yeah, is immense, nah, which goes back to Kakashi's statement that the next generation will always surpass that's the loss. A yeah. great example would be the Rasengan itself. Despite Minato creating it, over time, it became easier to learn, more refined, and then evolved to more powerful forms. Facts, Boruto facts, facts, instantly facts. proved this at 12 years old. The invisible he, he like Sengon was something none of them were able to before the time skip, he already had multiple variations. Probably got at least a good 20 variations. To achieve though, due to infusing videos. lightning release. Hence the whole reason Kakashi created the Chidori instead. As a result, the old heads admit one by one that Boruto is a Jonin at such a young age. However, fast forward to the time skip, and it's confirmed he surpasses the likes of our legends. Breaking down yeah. his kaijutsu first, he now uses a sword as his main weapon, which he mastered under the tutelage of oh, Sasuke, Sasuke, claiming Oosh. his student mm. now knows everything right he can teach. Lie. But before this occurred, Boruto already knew the gentle fist, which he had mastered when he was a child, thing. without yeah. the necessary Byakugan. To understand just how great Boruto's Taijutsu has become, we must look at oh, Momoshiki's fight it, against the Kage. Why, you may ask? Well, Boruto with the Karma has gained all the thousands and thousands of years of his experience. I want y'all to look me in my eyes when I say this. We still, to this day, in the manga, have no fucking clue what Boruto looks like with his Karma on. Everything we've seen, no Karma. Mmm. Mm. Which means he can do shit like this. <laughs> Momoshiki even dominated Naruto before using Kurama and almost kept up with the duo. However, he also attacks something Boruto is already familiar with. Their Tenketsu. What the f*** does that even mean? Well, basically, you probably forgot. And don't worry, I'm about to go Every person has 361 Tenketsu in total, and they act as checkpoints for the chakra pathway system. By completely mastering the Hyuga fighting style, one can attack all points and shut down an opponent's chakra. This can even be incredibly lethal by attacking the point linked to the heart or just hitting every single Tenketsu, where chakra flowing in a person's body will stop. And guess what? They will die. Just think about it for a second. If Momoshiki keeps up with Naruto and Sasuke, who clapped Madra, who outlasted the strongest taijutsu in Might Guy's Eight Gates, then battling Boruto yeah. in taijutsu is a death wish if you make one wrong move. Not and real. seeing how just one. 
<gasps> and seeing how just I mean, one I punch from Sonade broke through a Susano of Madara, I think it's safe to say <laughs> Boruto would be able to bypass Bro. the so-called perfect defense as well. Especially when you consider the fact that Jigen took Sasuke by surprise, bro, he effortlessly did, kicking him he straight him out, out of the pilot seat. Snow, As you yeah, soon realize like, ah. if Jigen can do this, yeah, the bro. perfect Susano is literally child's play for Boruto. In the time skip, Boruto dealt with multiple claw grimes in a single cut, whilst most people like Kawaki struggled. Then against Limitless Coat, he, he just, you know, she stepped on that guy, neck. overpowered him, and the same clown <laughs> said that he could defeat an adult Naruto and Sasuke 1v1. And to be fair, he actually did by making Sasuke a tree. But let's not forget Mitsuki's perfect sage mode, defeating him without getting serious or activating karma that boosts everything. Mitsuki claims Kawaki at this point couldn't defeat Boruto and then could have sliced his former teammate like butter like with butter. his speed and like kaijutsu alone. So the fact that Boruto now surpasses Naruto and Sasuke in this category, it's fair to say that just like he killed all Claw Grimes at once, he would do this to all the cast. However, really that's good. not all. Oh. In the time skip, we know he Boruto has become good. planetary or even higher. Oh, so does yeah. that mean he can defeat Baryan mode Naruto or even Ishiki at this point? Well, let's break down his dojutsu next. In Naruto, the peak of such an ability was the Renin Gun, and of course, who was better with it than Boruto's master Sasuke? Yeah, Using nah. it, he is able to enter other dimensions uh -huh, and was uh -huh. even able to put all nine tail beasts in a genjutsu without eye contact and even make small planets so cool. out of them. He's Kuruma so stated that he's uh -huh. matching Hagoromo. Madra was also extremely efficient with the Renin Gun, able to use the six paths of pain abilities from demonic statue chains to Tengai Shinsei, which literally summons a meteor. However, as cool and shocking as these feats are, they are nothing compared to the dojutsu we see in Boruto. Hey, Kijimoto no. saw this OP power and said, let's give it to everyone. I mean, bro, <laughs> literally all of the Shinju have yeah, one. My guy was giving running guns out like, like candy. candy. Nah, Every facts. Atsuski has facts. one or something even stronger. Take Ishiki and Kawaki's Daikoko 10 for example, Daikoko. which can shrink down objects and resize them in an instant. So fast, even Sasuke can't keep up with his internal manga kill Sharingan yeah. or even Ada's freaking Senrangan, which was literally used by Shibai Otsuski to create the world right. as we know it. But just like Shit, other Otsuski, right. Boruto has access to a powerful dojutsu. This of course being his pure eye. Tenori accelerated the process right. of Boruto activating his eye and sent him a message stating your eye is the star of the hope. Kid. The power Work. of hope slumbers deep within you Work. against Work. destruction that will eventually come to pass. Work. The Jogan grants Boruto the ability of all three big dojutsu. For example, he can see the entire chakra pathway notice, system, though. its flow, and even I, Tenketsu, I really much so like the Byakugan. Moreover, I, I Boruto really used it to see through invisible barriers, much like when Pain used his Renengan to look for the barriers surrounding Konoha in chapter 419 of Naruto. However, he took it to the next level, as Boruto could see through entirely different dimensions, yeah. as he saw where Urashiki was appearing before his portal activated. This is important to note for the ninja war, as it would allow him to even see Madara's limbo look, clone. Look, you can think it, but once you see the facts and it laid out on paper, like he's doing for us right here in this beautiful video, thank you. It's just, it hits harder. He's top one. By pairing into the limbo world, just like Sasuke's running gun. Furthermore, Urashiki's portal jutsu was the same as Kagyu's, which yeah. had Naruto and Sasuke totally bamboozled. Nah, Nonetheless, it proved to be no issue for a 12 year old Boruto. Thus, in the 12. time skip, he would have no trouble facing off against Kagyu alone. Boruto can yeah, also clap, use his Kagyu pure eye though. in a similar way to the Sharing gun, as he was able to read Momoshiki's muscle moves movements to determine his attack, uh. allowing him to easily dodge and uh. counter. Think about how insane that is, mate. A Genin used Taijutsu 
to deflect his attack. Thus, it's no surprise that Urushiki yeah. labeled this Fujitsu a troublesome <laughs> eye. He even unlocked Naruto's really skill to up. see and sense negative emotions with it, yeah. but took it to the next level. Mm -hmm. As even at 8 years old, whilst the pure eye was still in a primitive stage, Boruto could use it to see the weak point of an opponent against Nui. But you're probably thinking, surely, ABD, there's a limit to this Dojutsu's abilities, right? This guy's busted! Well, even after all that, Boruto still has access to Momoshiki's unique Byakugan, as he was able to temporarily control the Utsuki possession, allowing him to utilize its abilities. This dojutsu is beyond broken, I'm telling you. It allows you to see into the future. Though it belongs to Momoshiki, who can see the fate of anyone but himself, Boruto is able to see what Momoshiki sees, and in turn, his own future. This foresight is probably one of, if not the most OP power we have in the entire series, far surpassing the Sharingan's ability to see the flow of an opponent's movement before they do them. As seen when Madara used it on Sasuke, Naruto also had a similar ability with the Six Paths powers, being able to detect Madara's light speed chakra rods. But that's only seeing a couple of seconds into the future. Boruto is looking days, months, possibly even years into the future. We I see know. this when Boruto foresaw Code losing control of the Ten Tails yeah. and the Shinju destruction yeah. of the world. But this yeah. It also helps him in battle as he can maneuver around surprise attacks by peering into Momoshiki's fragments. He achieved this against Mitsuki in chapter 80. Uh -huh. So if all the legends of yesterday faced him at the same time, they would still Ooh, have hey, no hey, chance hey, hey, against close. him. Close, the fact bro. that his grandfather Minato yeah. could take out 1000 shinobi in a single day only <laughs> thanks to the flying Raijin, do we really oh. think Boruto and couldn't achieve it. the same he thing with it. the same jutsu and much more power at his disposal? We haven't even reached the pinnacle of it yet, as Boruto has ninjutsu that surpasses even Baryan mode or Ishiki. And we still haven't seen karma! That's the scariest part of all of this shit, bro. We still haven't seen the karma, the bro. The Rasengan into a Shinjutsu, similar to the <sighs> Otsuski god, who can create storms and thunder with just a roar or no hand signs, Boruto can use the rotation of the entire earth to discombobulate any opponent. When have you even ever heard that word from someone when describing how powerful they are? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so compared to the days when Boruto said his dad's Rasengan is huge against Momoshiki, and we even saw saw that shit where its chakra left the earth in the time skip. The mad lad is arguably using something 100,000 times bigger. This isn't even accounting for his other variants which he cooked up. The green wind style Rasengan, uh -huh. the vanishing Rasengan uh -huh. which was key to defeating uh -huh. Fuse Momoshiki like and could bro. even take out Sasuke or blow off Otsuski level threats like Boro's arm. The Rasengan is a bullet that could pretty much snipe anyone. The high compression Rasengan, which broke through deepest perfect defense made of diamond. It could even hold off Ishiki's cube at 12 years old whilst he was 12. protecting Sasuke for a while. But old. what if I told you it just gets better? The Uzahiko Rasengan, also known as Uzahiko. the power that made Code the biggest clown in the series. <laughs> this technique <laughs> gathers chakra around their entire body using the earth's rotation. Once someone comes into physical contact with him, Boruto is able to infuse his enemy with rotating chakra, essentially striking them with that rotation. The damage is permanent unless Boruto wills it to stop or, you know, everyone's dead and the earth stops spinning. <laughs> now with each additional blow from this Rasengan, it causes Boruto's enemy even more physical harm and additional unbalance oh! as they lose equilibrium. This left Code, the guy who was stated to be stronger than Jigen, completely and utterly defeated. It wasn't even a fight. Code couldn't really get a single bad. freaking hit <laughs> in. Let me remind you, Jigen was able to defeat Naruto and Sasuke in their prime, which means this single technique surpasses anything we've seen. Boruto claims that this jutsu is certain death and makes him immune to physical contact while
whilst it's active. As anyone that tries to attack him, he will be met with the effects of Uzuhiko in return. Uzuhiko. Now you may think Ishiki and Baryan mode would be too fast for Boruto, but that may not be the case. He is multiple times faster than Light already. Code's belt markings are stated to be superior to Minato's flying Raijin and his instant teleportation. Yet, Boruto is still able to react to them in time and counter. Given the fact that Naruto and Sasuke were already faster than light by the end of the fourth war and had only gotten stronger, we get a sense of how far Boruto's scaling goes. For example, KCM version 1 of Naruto could already dodge a near light speed attack from A at point blank range. He gets even faster later on in the Naruto manga due to Sage Mode, Six Paths, and KCM. CM2. This leads to another feat of six paths Naruto dodging Madara's light fang, which was the speed of light. Is, Later like... on in the Boruto manga, this level of speed is showcased yet again, with Delta's light beams being dodged, or even a nerfed Naruto dodging light speed photons in the Retsuden novels. As a result, since in the time skip, Boruto is stronger than Limitless Code, we can comfortably conclude Limitless he is way spell. faster than the speed of light, and therefore would be able to keep up with Baryan Mode and Ishiki. This is in base with no effort destroying no such karma. a powerful opponent, with because no I'm karma, about to nigga. explain how he's an entirely different monster upon using his other Shinjutsu. Amada revealed that a different monster upon using his other like, bro, I cannot wait to see him turn it. Like, you see it. Ugh, I cannot wait. The Shinjutsu. Amada revealed that on, all bro. ninjutsu are nothing but a mere attempt at copying a fraction of a Shinjutsu's power like Shibai. And Momoshiki has bestowed Shibai. those kind of powers to Boruto for him to use with the karma's true essence. For example, another unique ability is Boruto having control over his chakra signal, which can be completely erased. Right. Something right. impossible for anyone besides Kawaki. This means if Boruto wanted to, he would assassinate anyone. But this is just one Shinjutsu, as everything we've already mentioned gets a boost thanks to the karma, granting enhanced physical speed, strength, and jutsu power akin to the gods. Some people in the community even mention how it might be a 10x power-up, but that's up to you to decide in the comment section. On top of that, the Karma grants space-time ninjutsu, where he can open rifts to any location, including foreign dimensions. But of course, the main ability of the Karma allows Boruto to absorb any incoming chakra-based jutsu, mm -hmm. as well as even heal himself. So just like Jigen used this against Naruto and Sasuke, 99.999% mm -hmm. of ninja would be useless against Boruto Cut. as they would need something natural as Koshin Koji stated. What's more, the Atsuki ability to fly to is totally power. natural for him, which he used to his advantage against Mitsuki and put his feet on Code's <laughs> face, one of the most disrespectful moments in the whole Naruto verse that we have seen so far. Yeah. An opponent that strong and you're that, putting bro. your stinky ass feet on his face, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> However, it doesn't stop here, ladies and gentlemen. This leads us to prove Boruto is above planetary. If we take a look at chapter 689, Kaguya was going to use a true seeking orb to blow up an entire dimension. She also creates multiple interconnections connected ones, each with their own respective small planets, as shown in the OVA credits of the day Naruto became Hokage when Sasuke is traveling. When we connect this to Naruto's battle with Tunori, we start to understand the scale. Even the weakest of Atsuki is strong enough to conquer planets, yet here we see Naruto bullying one. Tunori focuses all chakra into an energy blast, where we witness Naruto was hit. Despite having chakra at near absolute zero, he tanked an attack that left a crater larger than an entire village, and the explosion caused chunks of the moon to break off afterwards. Half the moon was split as well, so Boruto scaling multiple times over this is insane.
Remember, even a 19-year-old Sasuke could single-handedly destroy a meteor effortlessly, similar to the one Madara would use to kill countless people in the war. But now, Boruto has the capability to blow one up 10 times its size casually in his base form. So as you can tell by now, Boruto is stronger than all Atsuski and would give Baryan mode Naruto and Ishiki a good matchup, likely being able to outlast the timer his father would have as the transformation only lasts a few minutes, whilst Ishiki could die to Uzuhiko. No, think about it. If Naruto were to use Baryan mode on his son, I don't think he would be able to finish him off fast enough and would actually have a harder time fighting. Strength and speed wise, he may be faster than his son. Even if Boruto used his dimension hopping flying Raijin, the hand signs required would be interrupted before he could finish. We saw this with Naruto's last fight against Sasuke, but again, Boruto is not Ishiki, meaning he doesn't have a time limit it on his body. Naruto in the short time he had could only shave off about 20 hours of Ishiki's life. If we presume Boruto's life force is nowhere near that and more akin to the average Uzumaki who are said to have a large Naruto, life force yeah. for example enough to survive Tail Beast extraction or even that of an Atsuski, Naruto might be able to take off like a day of Boruto's life. As a result, Naruto wouldn't have the necessary time to kill him. Plus, the pure eye would be giving Boruto all the information he would need to see what was happening with the chakra. His weak points would be exposed and much more. Kurama stated that whilst using Baryan mode, Naruto couldn't afford to make any unnecessary movements. Thus, if Boruto hit him with the Uzuhiko, it would completely expose his weakness. Now to enjoy more peak fiction, why not learn how Sung Jun Wu unlocked Riz just like my man Bo Um, um, I really don't even know what the fuck to say, to be completely honest with you. This nigga's broken. Have no fear, Boruto's here. Is there any competition, bro? He might have made this nigga too strong, bro. He really might have made this nigga too strong. Is there any competition? I knew that nigga was strong, but like when you hear him point out all the facts and shit at one time, because you. He basically just took all the facts and put them together. Oh, wow, bro. I ain't gonna lie, YouTube. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I knew he was top one, but I didn't know the gap of him being top one was that big. The Shinju, they, if they don't jump him, they're cooked. <laughs> Boruto's top one. He's top one, bro. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, tap into the Twitch, bro. Damn. You know it's love you didn't make here for real, right? YouTube said you're gonna fuck with this video next, by the way. Excuse me, before I...